Hello and welcome to Technical Droid Solution. I'm Dian Kamau. In this video, we are going to look at interpenetration, uh, surface development, and we are concerned with the part B of a prism that we are going to uh, develop. In another video, we had tackled part A. Therefore, uh, in this video, we are tackling part B of the prism. So the question actually requires us to develop the yellow prism, which is going to give us this. This is the surface area development that we require to develop. So the question um, reads, two square prisms are joined together as shown in figure six. Draw the development of prism B and that carries 20 marks. So prism B is the standing prism. So um, as usual, we shall start with the construction lines and we shall draw a square in this uh, orientation so that the uh, diagonal is vertical. And uh, it is good uh, habit to actually name your points. You'll also realize that uh, the diagonal is 42 millimeters and that is going to be very handy as we go along. So um, after you have done the plan, the next thing is to project lines, lines at A, lines at uh, CA and a line at uh, D. And with those lines, uh, you can establish a baseline here, a baseline, and that baseline, uh, from that baseline, then you can measure 90 millimeters, which is the height given for the standing prism, and also establish this point uh, at 15, because we are going to have our other prism, the interconnecting prism, we are going to have it uh, starting to penetrate at at 15 millimeters, yes, and at 45 degrees. So at 15, uh, measure 15 millimeters at that point uh, with your T square and uh, 45 degrees C square, you'll be able to draw that line. Also extend the top line here because it is the one that is going to uh, give us the length of the uh, penetrating uh, prism since that has not been given. And uh, from the diagram, it would appear as if a line uh, passing through the top would be the one controlling uh, the upper line of the penetrating prism. So uh, as you can see there, after you have drawn this line, then draw a parallel line to this one at 42 millimeters. Where are you getting the 42 from? 42 millimeters is the diagonal of the prism. And the two prisms, yeah, the connecting prism, prism and the standing prism, both of them have sides of 30 millimeters. And therefore, their, diagra uh, their, their diagonal must be the same. So with that, we are able to measure this 45, uh, uh, 40, 42 millimeters 
diagonal and it is at 90 degrees and it's just starting below that line the top line here just starting exactly at that point that's what uh, it has it appears to be uh, doing in the paper so uh, although this line may not have been given but we have uh, gotten a way of assuming that it is uh, starting at that point so once you have had that and you have this point here you have this point here and you also have that point there then the next thing is just to connect this and you will have your connection line So um, again, we are projecting lines below so as to get the prism here. That may not be uh, necessary at uh, this point because uh, we haven't actually been uh, given this as uh, part of the work. But it's good to also do some extra work to to be able to make sure that uh, all the marks that are located uh, you get every every bit of it so you can see that the uh, the bottom here is complete the top here is also complete although not in a finished line but it's it's already complete and therefore the next thing would now be to do the surface uh, development so this is in finish line showing you that we have completed these two uh, so the next one is the surface uh, development and we are developing the interpenetrating um, so to develop the standing uh, prism just project lines project lines at every connection point uh, the first thing you should uh, make sure is for projection of the top line and the bottom line that actually projects the height of the standing uh, prism then all the connecting points are also projected we have one prime being projected two prime here we have two points on this side and on the other side on this side and on the other side we have two points here two prime and four prime all the way and then we have uh, Point three here down there now for these points are going to help us to get the hole because if you remove this prism here there will be a hole here and we are going to establish the the shape of the hole in a moment so as we go along then we decide that uh, we are going to cut our prism at D. So if we cut it at D, then D will be there. Then 30 millimeters from here up to here, because we know that uh, all this is 30, 30, 30, and we are cutting it from D. So we are opening it up. Yes, opening it up so that from D we'll have C. So D, C, and then B then b and then a a there and then we we'll finish at d we are opening it up all the way like that so once we have opened it and each part is 30 millimeters given by this uh this length over here then we start uh looking at the the points uh the cutting points so uh, a 
at D, at D we have no cutting. The cutting is at C, B, and A. But at D there's no cutting. So D here remains without a cutting. When we come to uh, C, then C is right here and the cutting will be at two prime. So two prime, that's the point over there. Then move on to the next one at B. At B, we have the top cut here or the bottom cut. B has two cuttings, top and bottom. So at three prime, we have a cutting and at one prime, we also have a cutting. Yes. Then we move to the next one, A. And at A, we have one cutting, and that cutting at A is at level four prime, and therefore that is our four prime. And that is uh, actually the hole that we are looking for, and this is the surface development that we are looking for. So the next thing is just to make it uh, complete and finish line and that will be your answer. If this video was helpful, if you have gotten something from this video, please check down here and give it a thumbs up. You can share it with your friends and check whether you have subscribed. And if you need to get more videos from uh, this channel, then you can tick all for the notification. Thank you. Let's meet in the next video.